Here we have Toronto at a southeast view with Scarborough at the bottom and the downtown core on the left hand side. This view shows the current state of our subways and our RT run by the TTC. As you can see, it does not stretch very far into Scarborough. As people know, Metrolinx is currently constructing the Eglinton Crosstown, as represented by this red line. The Eglinton Cross Line will run above and below ground and connect to Kennedy Station on the east. From Kennedy Station, it will run north and east along the existing RT line. It will eventually run past Centennial College and terminate at Shepherd East. The major problem with this proposal is that the RT, which is used by thousands of commuters daily, will be completely closed for construction for four years. Buses will run in its place. Effectively, Scarborough will be left without an effective transportation system and will be disconnected from the downtown core for four years. The alternative is to build a subway extending the existing Road Danforth subway line from Kennedy Station through Scarborough Town Centre and all the way up to Shepherd East. This will cost an additional estimated $1.2 billion. The advantage, of course, is that the RT will remain open throughout the construction period and not impact any existing service. On the other hand, let's imagine what we can do if we spend that $1.2 billion on additional LRT lines, which is about 67 kilometers worth. We can branch out from Kennedy Station to the southeast, going along Kingston Road to the Gilwood GO train station. For the same amount of money, we can build an LRT all the way to Pacific Mall on Steeles Avenue, connecting the suburbs in the area. Or alternatively, with the same amount of money and a bit of route alignment, we can connect to our friends up north in Markham, all the way to Markville Centre. This is what the area may look like when the region is done. The light green line represents the future Shepherd East LRT line. Take a look closely. The flexibility in transit options is greatly improved in the Scarborough area. A Markham family would easily be able to go to the Ontario Science Centre located at Don Mills in Eglinton. Take a look at the earlier alternative where the same amount of money was spent. Imagine a family from the downtown area or the Danforth area going up to Pacific Mall for some Chinese food and all it took was one simple connection on an LRT. Now let's look at the subway option for the same amount of money. As you can see, while the subway line extended, it doesn't provide as much flexibility as the earlier alternatives. Even when the Shepherd East line is complete, it will not offer the same flexibility and robustness as the previous alternatives. In conclusion, the Toronto City Councillors and the government has a lot to think about over the next few days. Write down your thoughts and comments below and let people know what you think. This is Eddie Ho. Thank you for watching.